Hello everyone! Today I want to show you the magic of Lolita fashion and transform one dress from casual to over the top. But before we start, I want to give you a brief outline of what we are doing today. I'll start by revealing the dress I picked and then I'll point out some main features of casual version of Lolita fashion and show you the sneak peeks of two coordinates I made. Afterwards, I'll make the same thing with OTT version and at the end I'll show you three full coordinates side by side. Yeah, I just noticed that my bun wasn't in the frame. Is it okay now? So now when everything's clear, we can begin. Today's special guest is this gorgeous jumper skirt named Tangled from brand Infanta. It's a little bit longer than usual Lolita dresses and it has, it has this kind of pink tint in it, like pink undertones something like this. I can't wait to show you the coordinates I made with this beauty. Okay, but before that, let me introduce to you two gorgeous ladies, Anastasia from my local community here in Poland and Noke from Finland. They are both wearing skirts, which are very common main pieces in casual outfits. But what else makes these outfits casual? A katsu instead of a blouse, a turtleneck taken from normie closet, and cool socks, plain tights, minimum of accessories and a beret which is commonly used as a headdress in more casual coordinates another thing we can do is to match our lolita dress with accessories from other japanese brands ashlyn from us does it quite often and the results are incredible so now with that knowledge i can show you the coordinates i made the first one is more suitable for spring and summer days because i picked this very airy crop top blouse it's really plain but this is what we are going for because we want our outfit to be casual we can either you know have our arms covered off if the weather is really hot we can you know lower the collar and have our shoulders naked <gasps> okay so for legs i have this once again really simple plain ankle socks with a little bit ruffling here and we have those gold shoes and I give you a little bit spoiler those shoes will, will be in every single coordinate I'll show you today because I'm a poor little sad potato and I cannot afford any fancier gold shoes so yeah so this is our headpiece for this coordinate it looks like um, this uh, maxi pad headdress a little bit like half of it but it is a band, which is really cool. If it comes to accessories, we want the bare minimum. So I picked three bracelets, gold one, white and gold and white. White matches our blouse and socks and the gold matches our shoes. Okay, the next coordinate I made is more for um, colder days, like autumn or winter, because we have this really cute pink turtleneck it's very simple it actually is my normie turtleneck so i wear it with my normie clothes and i really like to match it with lolita especially with this dress for the head i have this pink once again beret with velveteen bow this bow actually comes with the jumper skirt but I really like the detachable bows because you can take them off the dress and put them for example on a beret or something else it's really cool, it's really versatile the detachable bows are life remember that, thank you okay, for the legs I have this over the knee socks pink, of course and I have those pink ankle socks, those are from my normal closet as well. Alright, now let's jump into the over-the-top side of Lolita fashion. Once again, Noke and Ashlyn will help me out. Alright, Noke did something that I truly love, truly love. She made themed coordinate. Yeah, I can call it like this, a themed coordinate. 
it is all about ice cream in here. She has snowflakes, and you know when you feel when you think snowflakes, you you're automatically like, oh, winter, all right, winter. She thinks outside of the box, and she found snowflakes, something cold, ice creams are cold. She made uh, those ice cream herself. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's all about ice cream. It's ah. Oh. All right, calm down, calm down. All right, all right, all right. Let's point out what's OTT about this sweet and more classic outfit. Big hair, big headdress, layers, longer skirt, fancy blouse, a lot of accessories, and a prop. Freaking ice cream. Freaking ice cream. How cool is that? So right now I am actually recreating an outfit that I wore on our at our uh, latest bigger tea party. This one is like soft theme. I wanted to do a rose kind of theme, but it's not that visible. So let's call it soft theme. I sold the blouse from the first version of this coordinate because it was a it was a crop top blouse with detachable princess sleeves. I bought it because. I wanted something else, but it was out of stock, but I really needed princess sleeve blouse, so I bought this one and it was a mistake. Um, it was really kind of, the space between one elastic and the other was so small, my boobs were, were not there. <laughs> and yeah, it was really just small and uncomfortable and I sold it for someone more petite than I am. And I still haven't found the perfect princess sleeve blouse for me to replace the old one. So today I have a blouse that I borrowed from Veronica. Thank you, Veronica, for this blouse and thank you for making this video possible. Thank you so much. Okay, for legwear, we have actually... Those are over the knee socks, but those are normally over the knee socks. I don't remember the name of those, but whatever. But they're just white. I wanted white and gold tights, but once again, I'm broke. <laughs> but those are really lollyables and they have those little flowers on them. For my layer, I have... This is an overskirt uh, made by my other friend Monika. Thank you so much for this one. For the head, we have my one and only bonnet. It also has roses on it on the sides, but besides that, I put a lot of roses on bobby pins and fill the space under the bonnet. For accessories, I picked rings, a lot of bracelets, but I also have a prop for this coordinate, a gold rose. It's time for you to see all the three coordinates side by side. Our spring summer casual coordinate, our winter casual coordinate and our over the top coordinate. Okay, that's all for today, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching, comment below if you like it, if you like this uh, kind of editing also, because I'm trying something new, so thank you once again and see you next time.